Okay, so Mike only Mike here, mm. and I'm here with the Trinidad version. I, I find the Trinidad Rocky. Hi. Good morning, my name is Jamil Mohamed, but I'm not a Mr. Jamil, yeah. I, I've been noticing a few weeks now passing through the traffic. Yeah. You exercise in here, so I was very curious, that's why I stopped. Yeah. Um, how long have you been exercising on the overpass? Uh, since I was 45 years, now almost 20 years. And for people who may not know seeing you passing and exercising, I notice you have a cane. Tell them what, what, why you have a cane. Well, I'm visually impaired. I don't see properly. I just see when someone is close. I just see shadows, you know, but I can't really stop me. I have to continue my exercise every day. That will and, keep me healthy. And, 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 and what made exercising for you such a priority? Well, it keep me fit. It keep me healthy. It give me courage at life to be on. Don't uh -huh. give up. No matter what problem you have, don't ever give up. And how long, how long you, you've been coming out to exercise and what's your routine like? Well, every day I just come out 6 o'clock. Monday to Friday, I do 30 laps up and down the walkover. And then I start to do stretch and push-ups and sit-ups and all that. I notice you're very consistent and, yeah. and you're using your environment to exercise. Yeah. What are your words of advice to people out there who maybe not exercise and who are not active? Well, I tell them the best thing that could do is exercise every day, if it's a half an hour self. It's very good, it keeps you good, you know, and don't give up no matter what problem you have. Just continue to the exercise because this is the only thing that have me going right now. I say yeah. consistently guys, every morning I pass and I see this man exercising. I was curious, fast this in the tail. I stopped and I wanted to find out what's going on. Mr. Yeah. Jamil, what do you tell the disabled community who, or well, even somebody who not in the right mood or the, not in the right mindset to, to get them to, to do something that they, that, they, that they wish and they dream to do? Well, I tell them that every day just pray, thank the Lord for health and strength and continue to exercise. And I think that will be good for them, you know, whatever problem they have, just when you're up here, it come out your mind, take it out your mind, because alcohol and cigarette won't help you. So it's the best thing, you come and exercise, and when I finish, it feels so nice, I feel like the best thing in the world. Well, to be honest, I'm going to be 65 years October, and I never had, uh, I'm not a diabetic, I'm not, don't have high pressure, no blood pressure, no cholesterol, I just have this vision, me impaired, and I believe that the exercise have me still the condition I am because a lot of the doctors thought that I would lose the vision. Okay. I went to many doctors and they tell me there's no cure, but I think that this exercise has helped me a lot. Jimmy, I want to say thank you, thank you for coming here on Mike Ronnie Mike. Yeah, you're this, welcome. This definitely was a very interesting story. I, I would have never guessed that you've been exercising, that you're visually in pain, yeah. and that this is your form of inspiration and your form of motivation to yeah. keep you active in life. And the reason why I exercise here is because I can't go in any savannah or anything because I don't see where I go in if there's a hole or there's a bottle or a stone I could bounce it. But as up here, every day I know here by heart. I could tell you which part the wire damage and which part have a hole in this work over. Okay. So that's why I'm here every morning. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you for coming here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much.